Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing a really nice website with you for creating customizable forms. And uh, now let's just first discuss what is exactly a customizable form. If you guys don't know, you most of you have heard about Google Form. So if you if you don't know, I will show you. So Google Forms, it is a website where you can create contact us forms or, or basically some type of payment payment form what, whatever you like you can create different kinds of things here so let me just show you what is google form before we go to our main one google form all right so google form is this is the website it's a survey administration software so yeah you can create survey forms too if you want survey forms survey forms all right so there are different kinds of forms you can create whatever you like basically anything you can think of what i want you guys to know is this particular google form this service is good but it's not professional the reason is it always has this google form logo in it which is nothing wrong with that if you are creating a payment form it will first of all it, it cannot uh, basically connect any payment processor with it from what i remember let's let me just log in and let's see let's see if they've added that feature all right so let's create a blank form as you can see rsvp party invite t-shirt sign up all kinds of giveaway for giveaways for anything you can create form for anything so this is how google form looks this is how you can create let's just uh, all right so you can change the name sample form and here you can collect their email ids you can add questions here there are different kinds of questions short answer paragraph multiple choice check boxes drop down file upload you can get some files uploaded to you if you want people to send you something and they can upload a pdf or image file and uh, there are grid multiple choice grid multiple choice check box grid linear scale date time whatever you want people to fill now here's something really a problem that i have with this google form service is whenever you create a form in it let me show you okay so all right let's just see the preview and this is how the whole google form looks all right so whenever you create google form what will happen is it doesn't have any kind of payment processor connectivity so you cannot process payments from here you can send them response mails and then you can basically do their transactions but it doesn't have that uh, convenience and uh, the thing is most people like convenience uh, i mean i will definitely pay if something is just one click or in comparison to if i have to contact the contact any person or anything or simply processing my payments so now let's just go to jot form jot form is a very very known company for anybody who has done some sort of development work but if you guys don't know jot form help us to create this beautiful beautiful form so let me just go here all right once you get into jot form it will show your forms now i haven't opened my tab because there are some confidential forms there which uh, which are basically for some clients and uh, so once you log in you go here you go to create a form right so form templates once you create on form templates it will show you all these templates right you can create them from template so you can create online stores too with it and they have they keep adding new things here and these are beautiful templates so let's just let's just pick this one because many people are interested in creating e-commerce website yesterday i have uploaded a video for e-commerce and uh, let's so this is upload this is basically loading and uh, it's kind of slow for some reason but anyways let's just see let's just talk about google form a little bit more google forms are good if you are just doing a simple survey right these are good for surveys 
but if you are trying to create something professional if you want people to feel like you have created something that uh, you know they can trust my recommendation is use this so this is this is the kind of this this is you will get so the, this is an error for payment settings you don't need that and uh, let me just do one thing this is this is fairly simple interface but uh, maybe because of this whole template it looks very, very you know cluttered or anything at least in my opinion it looks cluttered but when you do the preview it will look nice but anyways let's just do one thing let me create a new form a new form all right it will open uh, or right, let's just let's just do one thing all right you can you can delete the content too so this is how you basically remove you click here very much similar to google sites which i absolutely love if you guys don't use google site to create your websites guys google sites is one of the fastest ways to do that and uh, to create website if you are not very technologically savvy or don't know coding that much google sites is great now anyways let's just talk about jot form right now i will create a tutorial on google sites or how to create your websites and uh, all right so i have emptied the form right so you go here you can drag and drop anything you want you can drag and drop this heading and this this one this one right so the best part is the payment look at how many payment integrations it has got squarespace square and uh, paypal authorize.net stripe braintree apple pay google pay it has got most of the well-known payment processors with it all you have to do is just drag and drop let's say i want to attach let's say paypal which because many people got paypal so let's go here paypal personal you can use paypal business too from what i remember yeah paypal business too if you got paypal business of course you can use paypal business and all right so this one was la okay so there were some products too all right so let's just see so all you have to do is just click on connect and it will connect to a paypal account you don't need to do a whole lot of work just it will show you the page and you just have to log in there the thing is once you go here one second here payment payment settings once it is done with you you can basically see all the products here and you can add products of your own choice all right so it is all about just you can you want to you can create that if you don't you can just leave it the form leave the form as is and uh, let me just see where is the submit button you can customize the submit button too which is a feature uh, google form give us also so you don't it's not necessarily very unique but it's necessary uh all right so that's all there is to it and you can add captcha too for security purposes so bots don't fill your forms and basically spam you and uh, yeah that's all there is to it my recommendation is okay so let me just show you the prices before we end this session okay let's just see so i haven't created a whole lot of forms so i haven't got the premium one but you should if you if you want to create a lot of forms or you want to process a lot of payments or something you need uh, some sort of plan but uh, if you want to do some light work like uh, for example it has got five form limit on free 100 submissions monthly 100 submissions is good if you are if you are doing targeted leads all right so the next one is 1000 form views now you have to be careful with this these 1000 form views add up really fast so you have to be careful so my recommendation is create a squeeze page in the middle i will show you guys how to create a squeeze page in uh, in the upcoming videos 500 total submission which is more than sufficient 10 monthly payment payment submissions so 10 monthly payment submissions means basically if you connect a paypal or stripe or anything it will only process 10 monthly payments so you have to be careful with that but not not necessarily because it will show you and if let's say you are selling a 10 dollar product right for only three to four payments you can buy a bronze one and once you get a bronze one it will give you 100 it will upgrade to 100 and most people need only this unless you are doing something really like uh, if you're getting a lot of traffic and you don't 
एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग विद जॉट फॉर्म इज यू नीड अ स्क्रीज पेज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस फॉर्म व्यूज दिस फॉर्म व्यूज यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल विद इट बिकॉज मेनी टाइम्स आई एम वर्किंग ऑन जॉट फॉर्म एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी व्यूज माई फॉर्म इज गॉट एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग आई गॉट अ मेल और आई चेक हियर आई थिंक आई हैव टू गो एंड चेक मैनुअली वट एवर द केस इज एट द फॉर्म व्यूज आर बेसिकली फिनिश सो जस्ट बी केयरफुल विद इट बट वंस यू आर डूइंग गुड फोर्टी नाइन डॉलर अ मंथ अनलिमिटेड स्टोरेज अनलिमिटेड फॉर्म व्यूज अनलिमिटेड थाउजेंड पेमेंट्स थाउजेंड पेमेंट्स इज मोर देन सफिशियंट to basically recover your 49 dollar month and that's all there is to it you can take yearly plans too if you want my recommendation is start with free and you can do whole lot of work with free i most of the time i use their free stuff because i don't need to buy their premium but uh, if i am doing a large amount of processing which is not in this account but uh, it's one of my another one i basically use their premium one. so whatever the case is free and premium are the same just it will give you the features will be added like these as we mentioned here and there's no branding just yes, there there will be no branding once you buy premium but jot form branding is good you know it doesn't distract the you know, basically per person who is filling the form so my recommendation is it's not a big issue but if you want and uh, there is a free alternative to jot form 2 not totally free but uh, there is a free alternative on wordpress uh, that's called forminator I will be discussing Formulator in my upcoming videos and uh, how to use it, how to integrate it, and uh, that's good too. But JotForm is good if you are a full-fledged professional and you want to run a legitimate. I mean, if you want to really, really go and uh, basically try to create something up to the standard of new UIs because people like beautiful designs and all. So that's all there is to it. Okay, so thank you.